Hey everybody, this is GIJS96, back with another Transformers LEGO video. Today I'm going to be doing my, um, Transformers LEGO Mini G1 Twin Twist. I almost forgot the name there. <laughs> um, so here's, of course, Mini G1 Twin Twist LEGO. Um, that's probably... If you're a big fan, you won. I'll probably know. I don't know if they um were actually in the show, but they came out with the Jumpstarter toys of Top Spin and Twin Twist. Sorry about that. Uh, my camera just took a really bad fall. So, hold on. Um, sorry about that. Now it's all blurring out. Huh. Oh, um, but yeah, they came out with the Jumpstarter toys of Top Spin and Twin Twist, Twin Twist here, um, and they would, you'd like pull them back or something, and then when they, they would like roll, they would jump up and like be transformed and stuff, but, um, it's not, it, well, I tried to make it like that, but I don't think there's, um, <laughs> any, at least from my knowledge, any logical way, I mean, well, that, that doesn't make any sense, but I don't think there's any way, or any Lego that has been made that can actually flip up, like, by itself, while it's rolling or something, so, you can't exactly make the jump starter toys, but, um, yeah, just please tell me if they did, because I have not seen every episode of, uh, Generation One, so I don't know if maybe they did appear in the series. Probably if they're if they made toys of them, I'm guessing that they probably did. So, um, and sorry about that. I have my window open because it's really hot, and it's just really windy. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, yes, of course. So, um, if you've seen the toy, he's kind of a little futuristic drill thing with like two drill parts, and those are the drill parts. I know they don't necessarily look like it, but so the drills, so I can get dig into the drag strip. Oh, that's pretty random, and I just knocked over a lug nut because he sucks. So, yeah. Since there's not really that much else, I mean, um, you can, well, he has these little things, so you can kind of roll around a little bit, just to kind of hover, because they don't really have any small wheels that could just hook onto the bottom. Lego hasn't made those yet, but, yeah, like I said, drills, right there, you can get like, but, yeah, to transform him, he has a pretty simple transformation, not complicated. What you do is you just, well, yeah, you... And it's like this. You fold down the feet. And this isn't a very sturdy figure, so you have to make sure that everything is pretty hooked on pretty well. Um, but yeah, what you do is you just pull down the feet. Uh, I'm going to shake my camera a little bit. Uh, just trying to get it, cause it's kind of blurring out, but yeah. So, yeah, you just flip down the feet. And you just flip up the arms. Yeah, <laughs> it's supposed to happen, but well, I guess that's an opportunity to show it. Um, just one little stud thingy. And so, yeah. Sorry, I thought somebody was calling me. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah. Then you just can flip the arms like that flip them up, so, yeah, and then, finally, you just flip up the head, because on one of those things, flip it up, there is mini G1 twin twist in robot mode, I was trying to make them kind of normal size, but I guess he turned out kind of like my animated Earth Mode Megatron, I was trying to make them full size, but it didn't work out so well, so I had to make a mini. 
if I was going to make one at all, so. I kind of wanted it to be at least a kind of mini, but, oh well. I'm still pretty happy with it. I mean, it's a pretty simple little figure. Like I said, not very sturdy. It's only, the arms are only held on by that one little stud. Everything. But, yeah. He has pretty good articulation for a mini figure. Um, what do you do? Oh, well, it's kind of like an actual Lego mini figure. Um, compare him in height with people. pilot with some random guy's head that I just had to put together really quick. So, yeah. Can't really see it. it. Sucks, my camera's really blurring out, but it doesn't really matter about him anyway. As you can see, minifigures aren't that tall. They're only a few centimeters high. But this guy has barely, um, that much bigger. If you took off his, yeah, that actually looks pretty nice. Um, but if you took off that whole part, it'd be about the same size. But yeah, just put his head on right there. Many figures have articulation so that legs can go back and forth. Their arms can move 360 degrees, and their heads around 360 degrees. And their hands are around 360 degrees. But, this guy is pretty close to that. Not all that, because he doesn't have hands. These are his hands. But, his head can move up and down. I wouldn't necessarily say it could go around 360 degrees. It could, but it would make no sense, because he doesn't have a face. Well, it's his head. It's kind of crappy, but... Um, yeah. His arms can go almost 360 degrees but get stopped crap by the little drill parts so yeah they can go down like that or around all the way to there <coughs> back <coughs> sorry and then their legs can go up or his legs can go up all the way to there but they can't go backward. So they can go pretty high, so he's like kicking. Wah! Wah! <laughs> uh -huh. But, yeah. So, there is Lego Mini G1 Twin Twist. So, overall, I don't think he's... He's not very good. But, he's not too bad. Um, I'm pretty happy with him. For a Mini. Just real quick, I'm just going to show how to transform him back. Really simple. Flip up the head. Then the arms were already flipped up like that. <laughs> Fold. Oh, wait. Fold down the hands. And flip up the feet. So, there it is. Drills. You can hover. So, thanks for watching. I will be making more LEGO Transformers. And probably some updates. So... Stay tuned for that. This is JHS ninety six signing out. I mean, it's really to pieces, but yeah.